uh, Ben from Meerkat and uh, Eric from Product Hunt. And it's quite appropriate that uh, Ben and Eric will chat for a little while because many of us, I for sure, found out about uh, uh, Ben and Meerkat from Product Hunt and, and these guys have known each other. And so over to Eric and, uh, and Ben. Yeah. Hey. What's up, everybody? How we doing? How we doing? <laughs> give it up for Anamitra. Anamitra put this whole thing together. We give it up. So starting off, man. Uh, Facebook acquiring you. You must, be, uh, you must be really excited about that. No, <laughs> it's not happening. Yeah, yeah. Just to dispel it's, the rumors right, 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 right off the bat. Yeah, the, we never talk to them or them to us. So, so let's start with South By. That's, that's when stuff really, really got crazy. What, what are the key moments where it just took off? I think South By started two weeks before South By because uh, a lot of people that were going to South by are the people that are member in the tech community in here in the valley, and they're obviously active members in Product Hunt, which we put Meerkat at. Um, so those are the people that started to have this conversation about, hey, we should Meerkat from South by, we should Meerkat from South by, and like, you know, a week before South by, we're like, should we go to South by? And uh, we decided to go, and then. Uh, a very dear friend of the company, James, helped us to find a place there like three days before when we decided to go. Uh, so uh, I think that South By happened before South By. It's like a seed that was planted in people's head that they're going to go to South By and Meerkat. Uh, Meerkat was blowing up so much South By. Was that hype positive for you? As now there's a bigger landscape. How do you look at that? I think that it's, it's important that there is a bigger landscape right now. Uh, I think that it's important that big company, big smart companies like Twitter are making steps in this direction. And I know that it sounds like, oh, cutting you from the graph. It is a hard thing to cut from the graph. We are activating much slower because we don't have a graph. But that's a challenge that we should face as a company that's growing outside this ecosystem. And it's something that is there to own. So. We don't look at it as, we, we look at it as like, we're blessed that we're even here, uh, and we have our own challenges to face with anyway. Like, we cannot be a system inside a system for too long. Uh, so, yeah, so I think everything overall is positive. What did you see philosophically uh, and ideologically about what the future of, of this type of communication would be? I, I know you've written about it, talk about that. Um, so, what I think that it's, very interesting to see is first how user habits change when the content is not consumable is participatory so our our behavior is totally changing when we no longer just see something and react after the fact but we we actively participate in the content and hence we're changing the content as it happens from the fact that we're just there what does the live video ecosystem look like 18 months from now i think that we're going to see a lot more companies, and at least what our team is trying to be focused on is what happens in the in-sync vertical of presence and participation, and what does it mean to dissolve uh, the line between um, the watchers, or we call them broadcasters with zero streams. Because um, uh, the, all of the watchers are broadcasters in training, um, so between the watchers and the broadcasters. Like what happens when you dissolve this line and how does it look? And what does it mean to actively take part in a content rather than consume it? How does a Meerkat in the future different from Periscope or some of these other major players? Like where is your focus? What appealing to us as a, as a team is more how the watchers are not behind the content, but how they are in front of the content. And what else could they do in that space. From a product perspective, how do you prioritize what to, what to build and what to focus on? For us, there's two challenges, right? Um, one is how do you bring back the graph? Because one of the magical things that was in Meerkat before cutting the graph, um, you would just log on and then boom, you get push notifications. You, when you stream, people get your push notification. How do you bring that magic on? That's one challenge. The other challenge is how do you show that you're not just limited to Twitter? And I think it's a very important message for the team to show that, hey, there's Tumblr, there's Facebook, and there's more. It's still, it's still a big mess to choose what's first. Uh, 
uh, Meerkat has just been an incredible story and, uh, and has excited so many people. And everybody give it up for Ben and everything that he's built. And uh, thank you.